Hello, wonderful students. I am your friend and guide, Teacher Sam. Today we're going to dive into the world of storytelling. It's a fantastic tool for learning English, as it allows us to practice speaking and comprehension, all while engaging with a narrative. Let me share with you a tale, a story that's close to my heart. It's about my grandmother, Diana. Diana was no ordinary lady. She was born and raised in a village, a place where life was simple and traditions were held in high regard. Her parents, my great-grandparents, were strict disciplinarians. They believed in the old ways of life, and they instilled these values in Diana too. Television, parties, the usual teen activities were considered distractions and were strictly off-limits for her. But Diana, my grandmother, was a woman of great will and determination. She decided to leave the familiarity of her village life behind and embark on a journey to the city. The city was a different world, full of challenges and opportunities. It was not easy for her in the beginning, but Diana was not one to back down. She found work, she made a life for herself, and in the city she met the man who would become her husband, my grandfather. Four years down the line, they welcomed a daughter, my mother. Now my mother's childhood was a stark contrast to Diana's village upbringing. She was a city girl, allowed to attend parties, to stay out late, and to enjoy the freedoms that Diana had only dreamed of in her youth. And my mother, she extended the same liberties to me. So that's the story of my grandmother and mother, two women who lived very different lives. This story not only gives us a peek into their worlds, but also serves as an excellent source for learning English. In the following scenes, we'll break this story down, pick out key words, and learn how to use them to form sentences in English. So stay tuned for that, and remember, every story has something to teach us. Now we delve into the story, and pick out key elements. Our story revolved around Diana, a woman who faced restrictions in her youth but decided to change her path, leading to a different life for her daughter. From this narrative, we can extract several key words and phrases that not only shape the story, but also serve as building blocks for sentence construction in English. Let's start with strict parents. This phrase paints a picture of Diana's early life, setting the stage for her later decisions. It's a concise way to describe a situation where parents impose many rules on their children. You can use it in a variety of contexts, such as, I couldn't go to the concert because of my strict parents. Next, we have leave home. Diana made a significant decision to change her life. This phrase is useful when talking about a major transition or step into independence. For example, when I turned 18, I decided to leave home and study abroad. Following this, we come to get a job. This phrase signifies Diana's struggle and determination in the city. It's a universal phrase that can be used in countless scenarios, like, after graduation, I plan to get a job in marketing. Then we find, met the man, a turning point in Diana's life. It's a phrase that can be used to introduce a significant person in one's life story, such as, in college, I met the woman who became my wife. The phrase, born four years later, signifies the arrival of a new character, Diana's daughter. It's a simple yet effective way to denote the passage of time in a story or personal narrative. We also have different childhood, a phrase that highlights the contrast between Diana and her daughter's upbringing. It could be used in sentences like, despite being sisters, we had very different childhoods. Lastly, stay out late reflects the freedom Diana's daughter enjoyed. It's a phrase that can be used in various contexts, such as, on weekends, my parents allow me to stay out late. You see, each piece of the story, each word and each phrase plays a crucial role in conveying the message. Mastering a new language requires practice and patience. Just as my grandmother's story unfolded, so will your journey in learning English. It's not always easy, and it might feel like moving from a familiar village to an overwhelming city. But remember, success comes in small steps. Storytelling is a powerful tool. It allows you to weave a tapestry of words, sentences and phrases, each one a building block in your language learning journey. It's not just about memorizing vocabulary, but learning how to use those words to express your thoughts, your experiences and your dreams. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. They are the stepping stones to mastery. 
Each story you tell, each sentence you construct, brings you one step closer to fluency. I believe in your ability to conquer this language, one story at a time. Remember, every great speaker was once a beginner. You have the power to shape your learning journey. Keep practicing, keep speaking, and you'll see progress in no time.